So as usual for Boots of the Month, we are going to start with the worst pack of the month. And I'm really sorry Puma, I love your boots, but that hack pack, it's not doing it for me. Worst pack of the month, Puma hack pack. What's up guys, James here from Boot Wizard Boot Reviews and today we are taking a look at the best 5 boots or best 5 packs that were released in April. A couple of honourable mentions this month, the Pogba Season 5 Adidas Predator 19 Plus. This is a nice looking boot but it didn't really stand out to me too much, it wasn't anything incredible. And then maybe controversially, which means this is not getting in the top five, it's the Nike Euphoria Mode Pack. This only gets an honourable mention. It's a great looking pack, but it doesn't make my top five. Sorry. So kicking it off into the top five. At number five, we have the Adidas Vertuzo pack. This was a bit of a toss up between the Vertuzo and the Euphoria mode, but I've gone for the Vertuzo pack. I think it looks a little bit nicer. I really like the pink Nemesis. I'm really coming round on that Predator as being a super clean looking boot. Overall, a great looking pack and makes the number five spot this month. At number four, it is Nike's first entry on the list. That means they are on here again. And it is for the Level Up Pack Superfly. This was a fantastic looking pack, only released in the Superfly and combined all of those different elements of the Mercurials through the years. I really do think this should have been a What the Mercurial boot, but Overall, a fantastic looking boot, super clean, and definitely deserves its spot in the top five this month. In at number three, it is the Mizuno Morelia Neo 2 in the F9T range, which is Fernando Torres's signature boot, which surprisingly is the first ever signature boot that Fernando Torres has received from any brand. How is that even possible? Either way, these are a white and red boot. They are super, super clean looking. I really enjoy that white with just the bright red accent. I think it's a fantastic looking boot. And you know what? Torres definitely deserves that after the career that he's had. Into the top two. Now, that these could have gone either way. The only reason that the boot that's going to make second place is in there is because I can't get hold of it. It was super difficult to get hold of. The release was almost too limited, so it's gone into second place. So if you haven't guessed it, number two is the Alex Morgan Special Edition Phantom Venom from Nike. So this was a limited edition release of only 100 pairs to celebrate Alex Morgan scoring 100 goals for the USA. A phenomenal achievement. These were also only released in North America. So these were incredibly difficult to get hold of. I have obviously not got hold of a pair. Uh, they primarily came in women's sizing, as you would expect. So I really hope there are some young players who've got hold of these who really look up to Alex Morgan and they can treasure those and it can inspire them to go on and play like her. Overall, fantastic, fantastic boots, and I really do wish I had a pair. And that means that finally we have come to number one. What do I think the best pack or boot of this month is? Well, I think it was the New Balance Infinite Light Pack. So this was the New Balance Tequila V1 and the New Balance Furon V5, both in a complete whiteout with a pearl effect in the New Balance logo and a pearl effect through the sole plate. Now, if you watch my video last month for Boots of the Month, I also raved about how good the sole plate was on those New Balance boots from last month. This month, they've gone even 
better. These boots look phenomenal. New Balance are absolutely knocking it out the park at the moment, and I am a sucker for a whiteout boot. Also listed as limited edition, but there's no information on how many pairs were made. But if you wanted to grab yourself a pair, they are still available in stores. And that is my top five for April. If you did agree with me, do let me know down in the comments. But I do think that any of those top five, plus some of the honourable mentions, could have been swapped around based on any kind of personal preference. So if you have a different top five for the month, stick it down in the comments, let me know, we'll have a conversation about it. But that is everything for today. Do remember to like the video if you haven't done already, and do subscribe to the channel so that you can get more of our content. We've got reviews, unboxings, theories, we've got everything you could want to know about football boots. That's all from Boot Wizard. Have a good one, and we'll see you soon. Boot that Fernando is Torres. Fernando Torres has released. Really